Okay, so today we got a 94 overall BCA hero Eric Berry review. Uh, overall, just my overall thoughts on this card is a definite must buy slash keeper if you already have them and you're looking to get some coins for, say, the most feared program. So his pass game, run game as well, split this into. So we'll start with the run game because that is what he's known for, laying out big hits. 92 speed, 90 strength, 92 excel, 90 awareness, and has the 99 stamina, 99 injury, combined with a 78 tackle and a 90 hit power, and uh, surprisingly only an 86 pursuit and an 80 play rack. This card is always fill in the box. The halfback toss does not exist against Eric Berry. Um, when he initiates contact he always he always takes the running back down knocks him back or knocks out a ball for a fumble when the gang tackle occurs he'll come in clean up the pile and he never changes the direction where he starts losing yards for your defense he'll always put the direction he always put the pile the direction where he he wanted to go so that is a that is a definite plus uh so pass game he's got a 81 zone so that's not what you'd like for a 94 safety but you honestly, you couldn't tell. He has a couple awesome animations that he frequently uses. His one-arm diving swat where he just knocks the ball clean out. And he also has his his jump. I find for a jump ball, you're going to want to have him outside of the play and come running in and running and jump, not like a standing jump. For whatever reason, that's where I get the most picks with him is when, when you're still moving and not just going for a, a complete jump ball situation. Uh... For his hands, Eric Berry catches absolutely everything. I, I have no idea why, but he's just an absolute monster with his 75 catching. But once you get the ball, he's pretty shifty too. He has an 85 looseness with a 90 juke move, which doesn't matter much, and an 81 spec too, which doesn't matter much for a uh, for a safety because you know you just want the interception. But the, the returns are always nice. But he gets he. He'll change your team in every, every, every type of every type of situation you need, pass or run. Um, overall, I would say this card is absolutely worth the coins. He's only around 200k right now. Uh, a lot of people are selling off their teams for the most feared promo coming out, but I, I definitely wouldn't worry because uh, I dump a lot of my team off to get my coins back. But I left this card as my highest overall card. Because I just found he plays way above his 200k price tag. I find he's better than I've used Jason Taylor, Rondé Barber, all those cards. I'd say he is probably the best card, and he's not all that expensive. So for the high rollers and mutt, I would definitely say you want to keep this card around or pick this card up if you don't have him. Uh, so, yeah, overall, I'd give him 10 out of 10 in the run game, 9 out of 10 in the pass game. So a definite buy. Thanks.